I'm here outside Houston Station, where Irish rail workers are picketing as part of their 24-hour strike. Tommy, could you just tell me why you've gone on strike here today? Well, we're looking for a pay rise, our forced pay rise for 10 years. I mean, we've given so much over the last 10 years productivity-wise that we're on I mean, in fairness, we waited until passion numbers have grown to record highs, to revenue has grown to record highs, and then we said, well, hold on a minute, you've told us in the bad times that when the good times come, we'll get a reward. Now, here is the good times again. Where's our reward? So we're due a pay rise. We want the pay rise. And um, you're probably aware that the subvention from the government has uh, drastically reduced over the last few years. Do you think that there's a drive to privatise services? I think absolutely, yeah. I think that's, that's the whole game. I mean, the government are playing that game for the last, let's say, seven or eight years. I mean, reducing subvention year on year and using the fare box then to, to actually help subvention then in the sense that paying for infrastructure, I mean, it's the wrong way to run a railway. I mean, you can't run public transport like that. You have to subvent. I mean, all, all countries around Europe, they all pay proper subvention. This government just seems to think they can do things on the cheap. But as you say, it's because of, what well, I, I think I should say as well, is that it's because of, do you want to privatise eventually? I mean, 10% of the buses have gone. The railways, now you see what happened to the UK with the railways. I mean, they took back all the infrastructure over there and all the private companies now are just out to make money. So, I mean, do people think that's going to be a better service or a cheaper service? It's not. It's going to be a more expensive service. And it's not going to be as good. So, could you just tell me why you're on strike here today? Well, I think one of the main reasons we're on strike here is, besides the fact that we're looking for the pay rise, uh, staff morale in Irish Rail is absolutely at an all-time low. It's at an all-time low because we've just been taken for fools over the last 10 years. We've given... Uh, we've let 300 and odd people go on voluntary severance. Uh, staff numbers have reduced by 20%. Payroll costs have reduced by 25, 30 million. And we're constantly, constantly coming to the well. And the well is dry. And it's now time for us to reap the rewards of all the efforts we've made in the last 10 years. Yeah, and people would obviously be aware of the drivers being on strike. But could you tell me a little bit about the range of workers who are on strike? Well, it, it, it's not all about drivers, and, and we're like you know, drivers themselves. Like you know, as much as they're the highest profile in the company, they themselves would tell you it's not just all about us. There's station staff, station operators, people that work on the tracks. The railway just runs by so many people. It just doesn't run by a driver. The driver goes up and drives the train, but there's a whole lot of stuff that has to go there to back them up. I mean, we're all just a, a cog in a wheel. That's all we are, all of us. And people are in the media, I mean, seen them last night, Mr Yates uh, 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 quoting the average pay in Irish Rail, but he's not telling you how much the managers are on. The fella's sitting in there, Barry Kenny, how much is he on? A hundred and odd thousand, is it? He's on twice as much as any driver is. There's clerical workers only on 30,000 a year. It's not, the picture being put out there is a bit false. And do you feel that what you're doing should be replicated by other workers out there in other companies? Well, I think it's got to the stage where the, the, the current government is, if you haven't got the ability to go out and fight for your rights, you'll get nothing out of them. And I think that's what this is all about. This is political. They're forcing you out in the streets to fight. And they might eventually have to resolve this dispute because all strikes get resolved eventually. But there is much as telling anybody else out there who hasn't got the ability to fight, you're not going to get anything. We're giving you nothing. We might give you a fiver on the budget every other year. That's what they're telling people.